to yeah, do all good. of this. <laughs> and I'm going to start by looking uh, right here. This is the area that I, de I decided in the critique was not working. So what you do about it? And I'm thinking that I want to, I sort of stopped with this at this part of the leaf. So I want to come down into that, look at my road map, which is um, right here, and see about bringing more of that down there. So I, I'm going to glaze it with um, the nickel azo and just bring it right on down. I'm asking myself before, do I want the white of the veins to be colored yellow? Um, I think in this case, I, I don't mind that. So I'm just going to bring it right on down. Because now at this point, it's the point at which to ask yourself those kinds of questions before you do anything. And you see that bringing that down has created a little bit of a difference in the, the painting. And I'm trying to make sure I know where I'm stopping with it. And now I want to come into, I've got to get down into there, into some darks. So I'm going to let that dry just a little bit and then come in with a mix of cobalt blue and a little rose matter genuine because I think that's what I used right there. If I remember correctly, that was all, that was yesterday. <laughs> Long time ago. <laughs> Long time ago. So let's see if that's going to, that's going to be interesting. And I want to come down, looking at my road map again. This is very important. I see that I have it shown quite dark. So I'm going to just come in and put it in. And bring it up. I want it to kind of have a soft edge. And I'd like to come in really get it quite a bit darker here in the corner so that's kind of called tucking what I just did is darken it right into that corner you see so it pushed it and I'm trying to join it to the rest so it doesn't look like it's disconnected but does tucking separate things or bring them together what's tucking is what I call putting a darker note in an adjacency. Okay. And it's, so here we've got one leaf, another leaf, and a leaf behind. If I tuck into the leaf behind with something darker, uh -huh. I'm actually pushing it back and pulling these two forward. Okay. And the adjacency idea is, and I've, I've managed to keep them from keep these two values which are very similar separate because I have got a white line there but if I didn't have that white line I could make this very very dark and so it'd be a value step or two darker and really push it back okay so all the time in watercolor and finishing any time you're painting you're measuring the adjacencies what about this leaf next to this one? Um, do I want always there's got to be a value change or they just come together? Mm -hmm. So you're always measuring that. And that's what I was doing kind of right there by adding that blue in. I'm saying I want to join with this. I want to push it back and make sure it's separate from these other leaves. Does that make sense? Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. That's a good question that comes up over and over and over so now I've got that in there um, which makes me happier but not completely happy because now I'm going to deal with a whole lot of cast shadows and I think I'm going to take those on right now that's first on my list we talked about <laughs> so cast shadows all right I've got them marked and again I have my road map up here and I can before I tackle that one, I'm going to tackle right behind it, that leaf. And that leaf, I like it being yellow, I think. 
Uh, I could make it darker, but I don't want to confuse the issue here. So I'm going to keep it yellow and I'm going to come in with a cast shadow that's, that's fairly dark. So I'm looking at the photo now and I see that the cast shadow has a hard edge here and soft up here. That's interesting. So how to deal with that? Um, I can get the hard edge by doing a dry okay. wash, but where I'm going to have the soft edge, I need to have it wet. So, okay, let's do it. I'm going to, that tells me that maybe I could add a little bit of the new gamboge. I see it in both places here. What if I, hmm, I'm thinking, my mind is going while I'm talking, <laughs> and I'm thinking, yeah, I can do that. I can come right down here with just, essentially with just water, and before I get to that, I'm going to leave that dry right there, and then I'm going to come in with some new gamboge and just darken it a little bit. I don't want a hard edge, so I kept the water going. And I could, yeah, I wonder what that would do. Just bring it clear over there. Now, my plan is to come in with the cast shadow and mix up fairly dry. What do I mean by that? When you're mixing uh, something for a glaze, for a cast shadow, you want it fairly dark. So I want the plastic to kind of show through the wash I'm mixing, mm -hmm. telling me that it's heavier. Why? Because if I put something heavier and drier on this, it'll pretty much stay where I put it. Hmm. I'm not sure I'm going to get that exactly, but I'm going to try. It'll stay where I put it. If okay. I put if I put something really watery in here, it's going to move. So I'm counting on that, and I'm going to hope for a nice hard edge right there. And I got it. And then I'm going to move carefully up here. And I'm hoping by glazing carefully that it's just going to soften that edge right up to that point right there just a little kind of right there and that's what I wanted I wanted the hard edge I know it's picky 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 but I wanted that hard edge and then soft mm -hmm. and I kind of got it although it got a little